Welcome, Scott. Thanks, thanks for having me. Did you ever think your music would bring you here to this part of the world? <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. We this this whole tour has been kind of surreal. Just all the new places we've visited. So, mm. but we we just been to Tokyo one, or we actually we didn't even play in Tokyo. We played in uh, uh, up in the woods at a festival. So this is like the first. So it's Asian city. Asian city. This is the first Asian city we've ever played. Yeah. Really, yeah. quite a long way from. Being alone behind your computer and making music in your bedroom or yes. office. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, very, it's been a very long uh, journey over the last 12 or so years, yeah. Ah, that's amazing. And you have started in quite an interesting electronic music scene in Sacramento. It was quite a tight-knit music scene, you said. Yeah. What was that like? It was great. It was a great place to kind of uh, figure out what you wanted to do and you know how you wanted to represent your music and, and playing shows and all that stuff. It was my first opportunity to play shows and not have it be too serious and not, not have a lot of pressure. So it was a really good, great place to grow as a, as a musician. Mm -hmm. What were your early involvements in music like? Did you play in a band? Or did you no, I, didn't, I, didn't, I came to music really late, like when I was like about 20 or so. I got, I, I got introduced to like drum machines. Uh -huh. So uh, that's, that's what got me into, into music is kind of computers and drum machines. And then, and then I started learning other instruments from there. But up until that point, I had just been a, an artist. Like, and stuff, you know? I see. So the urge to make electronics, it's electronic lace music, come from an urge for production rather than you know having been a fan for a long time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the thing though that got me into music was becoming a fan of electronic music. That was right around the same time I was getting into like drum and bass, like mm -hmm. uh, Ronnie Size and LTJ Buckham and all that stuff, and and then DJ Shadow and then Boards of Canada, and those those were all my biggest influences. And so that made me want to make music. Whereas like, I really appreciated rock music and that's what I mostly listen to is kind of like indie rock and rock and stuff. But uh, it's not something I ever, it ever occurred to me that I can make, whereas electronic music is something that really interests me. predicting the days of making a whole orchestra kind of music with just one computer and here we are yeah. making all these kinds of sounds with one computer and with the addition of drums and bass and all these other you know, organic instruments uh, and you yourself were a designer you worked with a computer in that other field of work yeah. how do you regard this world and this, this immersion of yours between this real life and digital spheres and what are the limitations to making music? Are you trying to make break boundaries or are you trying to make the next orchestrate music? Uh, how do you perceive it? Uh, I, do, I mean I don't see it as breaking boundaries. I mean uh, I'm sure it is on some on some level but for me it's just an enabler. Like I the, that's the way I see making music and making art is this is this fusing of real world elements and, and technology and leveraging computers and all that stuff to, to be able to do something you wouldn't be able to do normally. And so uh, I think for me it's just it's the reality of the situation. That's just how I think about music, and that's that's the way that I like to pursue making it. Um, so yeah, I don't think of it on some like grand scale, like kind of <laughs> break down some sort of boundaries. But I, you know, I've heard stuff from other people that, that that's definitely what they're doing, and it, it's it's really interesting to see. Let's talk about that. What are your influences? Are they key drivers to your making music, or are they sort of the main influences, early influences, perhaps? Drop some references. Uh, yeah, I mean, my biggest influence. It's, it's got to be Ulrich Schnauss and Boards of Canada and, and kind of DJ Shadow earlier than that and then but the initial thing that got me into music was LTJ Buckham and Fotech and uh, Ronnie Size and all those V Records guys so like it, you know it, it was all this kind of a little bit more harder edge stuff and then you know some of it was the like intelligent drum and bass from that time the more atmospheric but once I heard DJ Shadow and then later Ulrich and, and Boards of Canada that's when it really crystallized what the vision for what I thought I kind of did type of music that I thought I wanted to do. Amazing, awesome. Tomorrow you play Singapore and Victoria Theatre. Uh, yeah, another first time. 
Yeah. And also one of the earlier concerts after the refurbishment of the theater. Oh, they rebuilt it? Yeah, they rebuilt it. Wow, uh, that's it nice. It's a very renowned theater. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what you're telling me. That's that, yeah, yeah, I'm excited to see it. Awesome. Did you have any ideas as to how Southeast Asia or Southeast Asian music looks like? So I had no idea. I've been I've been to Thailand once, uh, just on a trip. So that was the only time I've even been in this, this mm -hmm. general region. So I, I had no idea. So this is this is all a nice you know education in that. Awesome. I hope you get to discover lots more. Yeah, yeah. Thank you too. for doing this interview. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah.